you just want to eat my juicy lips like who doesn't want to kiss from these bad boys so hey guys it's G welcome back to my channel so today we're you know love is in the air red is the color of love love is the color of red and it's valentine's day pretty soon so i thought i would you know bring you a valentine's day look whether you're single or not single i thought i'd give it the good old glam red look i love it and i am obsessed with it i've got my little hearts in the background i've got my red lip my red inner corner honestly it's a real good vibe if you haven't already, please subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Honestly, that is so important. Please comment down below if you are a single Pringle this Valentine's Day, what you're doing. Honestly, I am literally doing nothing. I will be sat in bed enjoying some chocolate because why wouldn't I be sat in bed enjoying chocolate on Valentine's Day? So I just want to talk to you guys about some brushes that I will be using in today's video. I am obsessed with them. I have been obsessed with them for a few weeks now. I've been really giving them a good try and this section of the video is in collaboration with Vanity Planet so thank you so much Vanity Planet. So this is the Blend Party brush set. This includes 10 different brushes, synthetic bristles which is even better. Synthetic is one of the best for using cream products. They feel so soft and the best thing about these brushes they waste less makeup i only need a tiny bit when i apply my foundation and it creates such a flawless but full coverage or medium coverage it literally creates the coverage that you want and my skin feels like my own skin which is the best part about it i've been getting a lot of comments saying about my makeup looks flawless literally this is why because these brushes they've got some kind of magic in them because they make my makeup sit on my face I feel like as well I've definitely noticed that my concealer hasn't creased as much when I've used these brushes so also when you use these brushes they don't leave any streaks on your foundation so you guys know when you use a brush they leave full-on streaks but with these there is no streaks which is even better how cute is it like the, the handles are so flexible I mentioned in the video actually it's so much more flexible to be able to maneuver the product around my cheeks and the handle is matte pink it's so gorgeous you can also do your eyes with this so i love using this for a good blend under my eye a blended lash line clean your teeth no joking like this brush set is insane and i wouldn't recommend anything that i do not like and do not enjoy and this this set is so cute, like look at them, they are just beautiful and they really have changed my makeup, how it looks, how it stays on my face, the formula of my foundations aren't cakey anymore, everything just sits on my face much better. So, you guys, you know what's coming next. I have a code for you. If you use the code JUNKYBLEND, you get 70% off this brush set. So, you get 70% off a 10 piece brush set. If I was you, I'd go check it out. The link is in the description. Again, I just love these. I couldn't recommend these enough. Thank you, Vanity Planet, for working with me for this part of the video. Let's go. Let's get glam. And let's get ready for Valentine's Day. Wow, I look so bad. Okay, so I'm going to go straight in with the basic, which is my good old bronzer. I love using bronzers on the eye. So to do this look, I've actually added bronzer with um with a pot of colour in the inner corner. Another thing that I'll be using is my good old oldie but a goldie um modern renaissance. I used this last year and I'm gonna use it again. I love the colours in this. Mine is looking absolutely disgusting. I'm really sorry it looks horrific but I really like using the shade warm taupe and then for the inner corner I'll be using the pink shades and I will also be using the warm taupe out of this palette. I'm gonna get a blender brush and I'm gonna blink. So I'm just kind of laying this on really really lightly. I'm not even going in harsh. I'm kind of like blending as I go. Look how beautiful this colour is. It's stunning honestly. The best trick in the book is to use bronzer as eyeshadow because I honestly think it's the most flattering colour. Um, this is the Zoeva 227 and this is honestly one of my favourite brushes for blending. Like, look at that. That is like a little pop of something but it blends so well. And the brush that I'm using to blend in the crease and kind of all over this one is a NYX 17 brush. 
holy grail this is so good that is pretty much it for like the base of the eyeshadow really wanted to make this look so everybody could achieve it in any way so this is just really simple really flattering in fact this is what I wear on a day-to-day -day basis when I wear makeup so if I do wear makeup I actually just run my bronzer in my crease and lid and I'm literally good to go it's beautiful love it and my favourite concealer at the minute is the Fenty one, I will admit. This is so good. I actually didn't expect to love it as much as I did. This is in the shade 120. I have got 140, but literally there's no difference. So, I'm actually going to apply my concealer just in the inner corner. A little fluffy brush just to get right in the corner. And also, it just cancels out any blue or purple undertones, which... I have I really do okay so as you can see that's just really evened everything out so now I'm gonna go in with the pink which is cute I'm now going to take the modern renaissance if you haven't got this please get it just for the sake of this video <laughs> a year later I'm still whipping this out even though it's looking very battered so I'm actually gonna be taking the shades Venetian red and love letter very appropriate that word is just appropriate i'm gonna take this really small zoeva brush so this is the 2t1 lux crease brush i love this and this is what i'm gonna do now is right in the inner inner corner like the inner corner i'm gonna go quite dark and then i'm gonna blow it out to quite bright pink i'm really really slightly buffing it out on the edges so right now i've actually got my eyeshadow and it's magnetic, it's from Melt Cosmetics and it's magnetic stack. Look, it's on my mirror, it's actually genius. We need to bring out more magnetic eyeshadows because these are genius. So I'm actually going in with the Melt Cosmetics. This is, um, I don't know what stack this is, it's literally like the fluorescent bright coloured stack. This is in the shade Radioactive, bright pink, and I'm literally going to dab my brush in. And I'm going to pop this in the inner corner too. So now that I've done that, I'm actually going to go in with a MAC highlighter. This is in the shade Show Gold. And this is, like, it's a gold and pink shift highlighter. It's absolutely stunning. And this, on top of eyeshadow, is such a good combo. So I'm just taking a little, um, a very small little detail brush. And I'm going to go straight in the inner corner. And it's just adorable oh it's so pretty so i'm actually gonna go in with my Kat Von D dagger liner ready for lashes which I'm not gonna lie it's probably one of the best parts because this just prevents any little gaps so i've just done liner it's not looking great because i honestly think that the um liner might have dried out but i'm just gonna take a black coal liner this is the zoeva graphic eyes black to earth this is so pigmented and I'm just going to run this just on my um, upper waterline. Then I'm just applying mascara. The mascara that I'm going to be using today is the IT Cosmetics Superheroes Mascara. This is a new one that I'm trying out. I definitely need to get into um, trying out new mascaras because I always get stuck in a book with them I feel like once I find a good mascara I don't really change I don't just snot it all over my mirror attractive <laughs> especially when companies like Benefit and things like that bring out really good mascaras I feel like it's so hard to not use anything else but the mascara that you love so this is a new one this is the one that I got from um, my BoxyCharm and I like it it's kind of good it's not the best but it's really good for um under your lashes which is good for me it's good enough for me for lashes i'm gonna be using um the tatty lashes Moo mitchell tl mitchell these are one of my favorites i've decided to go with a thicker fuller but a smaller lash not as long just because i feel like it makes my eyes look a little bit more almond and round and i love it i love the effect with this look i have eyelash glue all over my feet it's literally everywhere and i just want to cry oh my god my feet are just gonna be stuck together wow very attractive so to pop on lashes i applied the glue to the lash band i let it go tacky 
you can use tweezers or your hands. I use my hands and I actually grab the outer corner of my lash and I make sure it's bent so it's very curved, it's snug to the eye. And then what I do is I just tilt my mirror and then from above, I literally just plonk it on and then I kind of like bounce it on my own lashes. Once my outer corner is stuck, I make sure that I go over to the inner corner and make sure that's down. The inner corner is like a devil. Not fun, not cute, but my lashes are on, boys and girls. Now it's time for my bottom lashes. So I'm actually going to go in with my black coal liner, which I actually used before. Look how pigmented this is. This is so pigmented. I then blend it out with this Vanity Planet brush. This is honestly so good. It really does blend out in a really precise way. So that's my best friend. So then for my very inner corner, I'm actually taking the Benefit Roller Eye Bright Pencil and I'm just taking this in the very, very inner corner, like the most tiniest gap, but it really does help brighten your eye in that area. I really like the effect of it. And even this on its own without black liner is so beautiful. Some lower lash mascara just to tie everything in. Again, this is the it Cosmetics mascara. So now I'm gonna move on to foundation and I am going to be using my favorite, the Laura Gella Filter First Foundation. This is so good, look how messy this is. I'm actually embarrassed by this. It is pretty messy, I'm sorry. Ooh. And then for my brush, I'm actually gonna be using my literal favorite at the minute. This is honestly one of my new besties when it comes to foundation. So this is the Vanity Planet Blend Party Brush. This is from their Blend Party Brush Set. This is the second to biggest brush. I honestly love these. I'm not really sure um, what numbers they are and stuff. I kind of wish they had the numbers on so I'd be able to tell you, but this is the second to biggest brush head. This is perfect for my foundation, as you can tell. I honestly love this. I already started doing my foundation on my head, but all week I've been using this and it gives me a really flawless, beautiful skin-like but full coverage finish. So you can build it up to full coverage or you can let your freckles or whatever, your skin to come through. It's just all about how you apply it. On my face, it feels like I'm having a massage. It's so soft. They are synthetic fibers, which is one of my favorites when it comes to cream products. It blends such a large surface area in no time at all, which is fab. I kind of like swiping it and I also like tapping it in to my skin, that's what I found that's worked for me at the moment and this is honestly one of my favourite brushes to use now. You have so much flexibility with it, like the brush head moves with your skin, it doesn't drag on your skin, you literally get it blended in seconds, it's so soft. Can you see that? How beautiful is that? There's not a single streak in my skin and it's definitely blended into my skin, not on top. I feel like I'm giving myself a little massage. You could also use these brushes for skincare as well. Okay, so now that my fun, my my foundation, so now that my foundation is really blended into my skin, I'm just gonna apply a bit of concealer. And to blend in my concealer, I'm gonna be using this brush here. And again, it's literally just as flawless as the foundation brush. I just love these. For bronzer contour, I'm going to be taking my Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the shade Truffle and I'm just going to apply it just here. Some on my forehead. This honestly is so creamy. Wow, I look really well. Oh my god, look at me. So I'm going to take another one of these, the slightly bigger version than the concealer one, and I'm going to use this to blend in my bronzer and contour. Again, this blends even better with one of these brushes. I feel like these, like, that was done in how many seconds? I'm just gonna add some Benefit Hula. This just sets the area while giving it a little bit more of a bronze bronze. Me and Hula are just like Betty mates. We're really close. 
getting blondes for me date. Even though your girl isn't going on a date at all. The only date I am going on is my Netflix and chill date, I guess. That is the only date that I'll go on. My date with Netflix and tea. <laughs> And then what I'm doing is I'm just applying a slightly tiny bit of concealer under my contour just because, like, can you see that? It's so snatched and I love the effect of it. So it just gives you a little bit of a lift, which is always a good thing in that department because, you know, you want to be looking snatched and sharp on a date. If you're going on a date, you know, you want to be snatched and sharp. Okay, I like this. I like this. For blush, well, we've got to put blush on because if you are going on a date, you want to be blushing. If the boy or girl is not making you blush, that is where you're going wrong. So just in case your date is not making you blush, we have actual blusher just there, just in case. And this is so pretty, especially when, you know, it just gives you a little bit, bit more of a cheeky vibe, love a good cheeky vibe. So I'm actually just applying this on a... Um, little angled brush from so we that this is the look sheer cheek and I'm adding this to the apples of my cheek honestly I never blush I feel like this is just Valentine's anyway like Valentine's is all about blushing for the love oi oi so even though that never freaking happens when your girl can't relate to blushing because I just don't I really like to add blusher onto my nose, so instead of setting it with powder, I like to add blusher onto my nose. It just gives me a really nice look to it. Then I'm going to pop on a tiny bit of highlighter onto my nose, and I'm actually going to take the one from the eyeshadow palette because I really like these for highlighters. So I'm actually going to be taking Primavera. I think this is prettier than wearing proper um, highlighter. Top of my lip some on my chin all right so if the camera has changed it's because i just went off camera to add a few more like lower lashes i looked a bit bare so i've added a few more and added more mascara and yeah my skin and everything is pretty much done i am obsessed with my skin i actually can't believe how stunning my skin looks like it honestly i can't tell you how much my skin looks like skin. I need to fix my little bra strap thing. This ain't attractive. Yeah, that's better. This really isn't working for me, is it? No. I'm actually gonna give you two lip options. I'm not really sure which one looks nicest, but I'm gonna give you like a nude lip, lip option. And then I'm gonna add a red one as well. So for my nude lip option, I have taken the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat. This is in the shade Love Trap. Again, most of the products that I'm using are all Valentine's Day related, which is kind of creepy. I did not plan this. I promise you this was not a plan, but I'm gonna use this and just out my lip, outline my lips, and then I'm gonna just add a gloss. Use concealer and go around your lips. This just makes your lips literally pop. These are a few of my favorite things. Now you could just leave your lips. Oh, my whole tray of table nearly fell. My front door. You actually could leave your lips just like this, but I'm just gonna grab my my favorite lipstick. This is. MAC Mud Wrestler and I'm just going to apply this just in the middle and like kind of blend it out because I like that, you know, ombre lip. Look at my neck, look at my neck. And the best trick in the book is adding concealer. So add a tiny bit of concealer just in the middle of your lips and then just like get your lip and tap it with your middle finger. And again, this is going to give your lips like a much fuller look. And on a date, that is going to be what your boy or girl is going to be looking at. Like the one you're going to try and impress is the one is going to be looking at your lips like, oh girl, them lips. Um, especially for Valentine's, ew. Especially on Valentine's Day, whoever you're on a date with, you want them to look at your lips and be like, I just want to snog them. No one will ever look at me like that, trust me. Let's be honest, I don't even have a date, so love that for me. 
whether you're single or not. Valentine's is good, however, I feel like it shouldn't matter what day it is, you should always share your love with your loved ones, not necessarily a partner or someone you're literally like dating. So I feel like Valentine's Day is all about, you could be loving yourself, like girl, yes. Love yourself, feel confident, feel sexy, whether you're single, whether you're not single. I feel like it's better to feel good in yourself than feel good like having to impress someone. However, this video is obviously kind of how to get a date. <laughs> God, I can't even speak. I can't even speak about that because I am like the worst person to date. Like I just don't date. I don't like it. That's the tea on that. I'd rather sit in bed and sit with my dog. Like I will have a dog family in the future. I doubt I will be in a relationship with anyone, but here I am another year later, nearly 21, and I'm still giving you tips on how to do makeup to impress people who the girl hasn't even got anyone, so that's how good my tips are. <laughs> so I like the nude a lot actually, and it really ties in with the eyeshadow. This look, <gasps> wow, hello. Don't you just wanna eat my juicy lips? Like, who doesn't wanna kiss from these bad boys? So <laughs> for my second lip option, which I think is the one that I'm gonna go for, just to be a bit more different. So this is a Huda Beauty lip liner in the shade, you won't even believe the shade name for this. This is in Heartbreaker. So I've just been using Love Trap, now I'm using Heartbreaker. I'm not gonna lie, I think I love this. This is so Valentine's-esque, the eyes, the lips. Obviously, it's not gonna be for everyone's taste, but last year I did a very, very, like smoky pretty much like what everyone would love and this year i wanted to kind of step out of the basic and do a bit more pop of color and i think this is stunning so you've got like the cherry pinky red lip with the pink pop in the inner corner i just think it looks really nice and this is just for fun i'm not gonna lie i love it and you could wear this for valentine's day you could wear this literally to go shopping in so i'm gonna pop off camera do my hair and then i'm gonna finish the video and do my outro so that is it for today's video i really do hope you enjoyed don't forget to check out the brushes down below don't forget to use my code junkieblend for 70 percent off the brushes definitely worth it they are incredible and they're synthetic they make my skin look flawless. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell button. That will be fab. And I will see you in my next video. Mwah.